Even after several years out of prison, Butch Chinake says he's still not free. If I tell the truth, nobody will believe me, right? Chinake's girlfriend, Charmaine Wesley, died in 2011. Dr. Evan Matches conducted the autopsy and stated she died from blunt head trauma inflicted by another person. Chinake was charged with second-degree murder, but rather than face life in prison, took a plea deal for manslaughter, even though he says he's innocent. And 10 months later, Alberta Justice got this expert opinion that in Chinake's case, homicide is not adequately supported. Chinake's lawyer, Adriano Ivanelli, insists he was never told of evidence that might have exonerated his client. They never gave me that disclosure. So, why didn't they? A sitting Alberta judge has taken the unusual step of weighing into the controversy, pointing the finger back at Chinake's defense. Gregory Lepp is the former head of Alberta's Crown Prosecution Service. In a letter to the Fifth Estate, Lepp says Ivanelli declined an offer of additional disclosure. Well, no one told me what that disclosure was to start off with. And more importantly, they knew. They had it. How can they not act upon it? They have a positive duty to correct uh, a miscarriage of justice. So they can't just sit back and do nothing. Judge Lepp says Alberta Justice made a public announcement that a review of Matches' work showed unreasonable findings in 13 of 14 cases. Therefore, it was obvious to Chinake's lawyer that Matches was unreliable in any criminal case studied by the review, and his opinions back then were useless to the prosecution. That raises another question. Should authorities take another look at other cases involving Dr. Matches' autopsies? You have to go back and, and look at all those cases again. In 2012, the review that found fault with those 13 cases was quashed in court after Alberta Justice agreed Dr. Matches wasn't given enough time to respond. But then... Alberta Justice abandoned a promise to conduct a second review, leaving all those questions about Dr. Matches and his autopsies in limbo. The only way to really get to the bottom of it is to have a public inquiry before a judge um, who has subpoena power and people are going to have to testify under oath in public. In the meantime, Dr. Matches continues to testify as a forensic pathologist across North America. He disputes the findings of the review panel, stands by his work, and claims he's the victim of a political vendetta. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.